Hi, welcome back. I'm Erin Reinberg, Health and Wellness Manager. This is John Beck, Executive Chef. Exactly. We're both with Morrison and BJC Healthcare. And we're outside here today at the pond right outside Barnes Juice West County Hospital. If you haven't been here, you have to, it's beautiful. And we're very excited because it's summertime. And uh, what I love about the summer is spending time with friends and grilling, uh, which always comes along with a fun summer party. But a lot of times at, at summer parties, you always have hamburgers sure. and bratwurst and hot dogs. Um, and, and I really think that it's, it's time to step it up and it's show sure, them how to sure do it is. healthfully. And really easy. It's just as easy to do it in a healthful way. So, Chef, what are we making today? Wow. We've got a great, great variety of things we're doing. First, we're going to do a great protein today. We're going to do a grilled salmon with fresh herbs with a variety of herbs you can grow in your garden. Very, very simple. We're also going to be doing some grilled vegetables. And we're going to finish it off with some grilled pineapple and some uh, vanilla yogurt. Oh my, gosh. oh my gosh. How's that sound? Sounds amazing. Ready to get started? Yeah, let's go. Okay. What we've got here, we've got a four ounce piece of center cut salmon, skin off, boneless. You get this at any grocery store. What we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of lemon juice on it for seasoning. And also it's going to help to hold this herb blend. Now this is, a, this is a, an herb blend that we have that I want to talk about a little bit. It smells amazing. It smells amazing and, and the, the flavors are so awesome. So the herbs that we're going to be using today are all container garden herbs. You can, can, you can put do them on your deck. On your you, windowsill. In your windowsill sure. if you live in an apartment. So, and they grow very, very well. What we have are fresh chives. We have fresh cilantro. We have fresh oregano, flat leaf Italian parsley, and fresh basil. And these all grow so easily and so fast. Uh, and you don't have to use all of them. You can use maybe three or two, but I happen to like these five really bring out a great flavor. So we've got our lemon juice and our herbs on top of the salmon. We're gonna now, we don't use olive oil anymore. You know what we do, we spray. So I give the, uh, our salmon a nice little spray so it doesn't stick. Of course, my favorite, a little grind of sea salt, a little grind of black pepper. So you don't need much uh, extra flavoring in this. Oh, no. Really, I mean, the herbs do a lot oh, for that. Oh, the herbs and the lemon juice and the citrus going to bring it out. And to make sure that your grill is hot, one real quick lesson, if you hold your hand over that, you can count to five, pull it off, if that's a hot grill. And this grill is extremely hot and the coals are white. So we're going to put this down with our herb side facing the coals. Oh, you hear that sizzle? That's awesome. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to get our veggies ready. So for that, again, we're going to give them a good spray. And these cook very, very fast. Again, just, just a light, a light seasoning of our pepper and our salt. Beautiful, beautiful. And we're going to place those on the grill. Now what, you're using, uh, Chef is using a, a yellow bell pepper here, some zucchini that are just bias cut, a red bell pepper, and some asparagus. But you can use really any vegetable that you have. Uh, eggplant would be great on the grill. Um, if you just have the green bell pepper, that's fine too. They all have wonderful flavor and the grill really brings out that smokiness. Oh. Uh, and it just adds that extra element uh, Look at to that. your vegetables. Is that amazing? So can you tell me, Chef, I'm, I'm curious, the salmon you bought, if you if you bought uh, a frozen salmon, could you use frozen Absolutely. salmon? Absolutely. Absolutely. And how do you, do I just thaw it? We how just thaw I... it out uh, in okay. the refrigerator, not at an ambient temperature, not outside the refrigerator. Okay. Thaw it out overnight in, in the refrigerator. It'll okay. work just fine. And they make some great, great products now, individually frozen, they're sure. seen in a vacuum pack, they, yeah. they stay very fresh. Right. Now what we're going to do while those are grilling, we're going to put our our pineapple marinade together. But first, I'm going to show you how to cut a pineapple. Now you see I got these beautiful little pieces like this. Well, how did I get that? Very simple. I've got a fresh pineapple here, opposed to an already cut pineapple. Or pineapple from your can. And this is very, you know, it's a much cheaper way to buy pineapple is whole because then, you know, they haven't done all the work for you. We got the top cut off. That's right. I'm sorry. The Go bottom. Ahead. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then we're just going to take our knife and go right around the side. 
looks delicious. Beautiful, Very juicy. fresh. And, and just I follow that side down all the way to the bottom. You know, the thing about grilling is that you can even do dessert. So this is going to be our dessert today. Uh, and it's sort of rethinking your whole idea of what your summer party looks like. You don't want to have this wonderful, delicious, very healthy dinner and then ruin it with all these extra what? heavy calories cheese from your cake. dessert, from Gosh, your no. birthday cake, your Absolutely. cheese cake. Yeah, so we're going to teach you a way to keep it going throughout the whole meal so you can really enjoy yourself. So once we've got it to this stage, we're going to uh, cut right, you'll, you'll see the core right down the middle. We're going to cut off one side, lay it down, turn it around, cut off the other side. And then there'll be two smaller sides. That's all you throw away. That's the core. So out of these, we're going to be able to cut our beautiful slices that go right on the grill. How easy is that? It's wonderful. Okay? Yeah, it's so easy. Now, what we're going to do with this pineapple, we're just going to put it on there. What we're going to do is we're going to make a little marinade for it. I've got some honey. I'm going to add some lime juice to it with our fresh limes. And I've got some lime zest that we've zested and put in there. And it just takes about one lime. You can use the juice from the lime and the zest all from the same lime. So you oh, just need one from the store. That's what this is, one. And it's exactly. going to do all this. And then we're going to marinate this overnight or for about an hour. Okay. I like to, Either I way. really, if I have, I, if I have extra time, I'll really let it soak that yeah. up. And it's almost like candy, uh, but an hour will be fine. And save this though, because you'll use it at the end to sort of top. Oh, wait till you see what off. I do with it. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to add this to the grill. I'll tell you what, my rule of thumb is I like about three minutes to four minutes per inch. Okay. Okay. And that should do it. And another key is when you feel that, when, when it moves by itself, it just, that's when it does it's not gonna stick. That's when you can just flip her over. Looks beautiful. Oh my gosh, the smell is amazing. So what other fish could you do on the grill? Oh my gosh, you wanna use a firm fish. You wanna, you don't wanna use a soft, uh, a soft you wanna do tuna. Okay. You know, salmon of course is great. Uh, Halibut is amazing on oh, the grill. Okay. And let's not forget about scallops. Oh, scallops Grilled scallops. On the grill? I love yeah. them. Oh, yeah. And shrimp. Grilled shrimp. Oh, yeah. Shrimp on the barbie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we've got this going right here. As a, what I can do now is you want to put a plate together? Yeah. Sounds we do? Great. Let's sounds do great. It. And the other thing is if you have, um, you know, a family and, and they want to, you know, you want to make it real fun, you could get those uh, metal skewers. Absolutely. And have them skewer their own, you know, colorful kebab together. Uh, you might want to use chicken or, or pork or something for that, for the kebab, but then stick it on the grill like that, right? Couldn't you do that? And then that you... would be so much fun. And, and you know what? Very easy. Exactly. So instead of having everything... It doesn't can... require a lot of extra dishes. It's all going on the grill. Wow. How they get to pick gorgeous is that? Now, Looks you amazing. want to talk a little bit about that? I'll take these off. Yeah, so salmon's wonderful because it's really high in protein. Uh, you still get all of those wonderful fats with not too much fat. So you get the omega-3s that are all uh, very heart healthy. You're really full because you've, you've got all the protein that you need and you have all these veggies that have tons of fiber and nutrition in them. So after you eat this, you don't really, you don't feel like you're missing anything. You don't feel like you're left wanting any more food. Um, and then just to top it all off, uh, chef's gonna do a delicious pineapple dessert topped with a frozen yogurt. Um, and we, we purchased a frozen yogurt ice cream from the store. But if, if I'm at home, sometimes what I do is I just buy those quarts of, of yogurt from the dairy section and I stick them in the freezer. Oh, yeah. um, so, and the great thing about yogurt and pineapple is Again, you, you feel very full, feel very satisfied. You've got your calcium, more protein, even in your dessert, uh, and fresh fruit, sweetness. I think we've yeah. got our yogurt let me grab ready that to come. Yogurt. And while Aaron's getting that, let me show you a little trick here. If you want to make your dish look like the TV chefs, 
what I did was I took some of our fresh herb blend right here. I put it in a food processor or a blender, drizzled a little olive oil in it. And then what happens is you get something that looks like this. It's just the fresh herbs and the olive oil. And you drizzle that. All right, now where are we? You make it all look so easy, We took Chef. it downtown. <laughs> all right, thank you so much, beautiful. This is our beautiful vanilla yogurt with the grilled pineapple. And I happen to have a little fresh mint from my garden. It's amazing. I'm gonna set that right there. And we had a little bit of our marinade, the honey, the lime, and the lime zest. And we're just gonna finish that off the same way. Five star restaurant. Gourmet meal. At your house. It's amazing. Okay, at home. And even even your your children will like this one. Oh, well my, the kids are all over grilled fruit. <laughs> also grilled peaches. Oh, perfect. Yes. Amazing, amazing. Yes, definitely. Well, thanks so much for joining us today, uh, and we want to leave you with one little thing, and that is uh, to eat fresh and be happy. Right. Till next time. <laughs>